It is 914 and we are cooling things down here in the Bender Kitchen this summer. Our buddy, our pal, Mr. T, Sean Condon. Ooh. Welcome back to Style. How are you? Pitying the fool who uh, doesn't I enjoy pity nice the fool that don't drink tea. tea. <laughs> and thank you for being here as always. I'm glad to be here. It's great stuff. We're talking cold brew. We are. We're talking cold brew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically there's two differences when you talk about teas. There's a hot brew and there's a cold brew. Right. Used to be sun tea was a big thing, but you know, people say through the research that putting a bunch of tea bags on your on your windowsill with, with water. Bacteria. It, bacteria can, yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's not really the way to go anymore. So now the big thing is you do a cold brew. Cold brew. Break down the process for us. Okay. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your tea. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna, we're using mason jars just because it's a quart size. Right, and it looks nice. Yeah, and it's nice. The company I'm using today is, is um, Tea Guys. They have a quart size tea bag for iced tea. And basically, what we're gonna do is just put this in. This is their- Which fits perfectly in there. Pomegranate, pear, and ginger combination. Ooh, yummy. And that's available at local grocers? Yeah, you can find us at Big Y. Very good, very good. So put that in there and then put this what's, in there. what's the next step? Put it in the fridge for two to four hours. Uh -huh. Or we can go overnight, which I like to do. And that's it. And, and that's, that's done. It. Easy. Right. Oh, yeah, it's easy. So, so what are some of the benefits? Do you lose like uh, some of the bitterness? or what? Right, because what happens is when you're doing a hot brew, sometimes if you leave the tea leaf in too long, you're going to get some what's called tannins, which means that you've oversteeped or cooked the tea leaf and mm -hmm. bitterness comes out of it. Okay. So this way you're saving that. And also when you're doing a cold brew, you're going to get more of the antioxidants that you're hoping for mm -hmm. versus some of these quick blast of hot and then you're done. One of the cool things that you cool things uh, that you can do, you, you got these little ice cubes here with a little yeah. fruit in them, pour the tea in there. It's like the, per can yeah. we try oh, a little absolutely. taste test? All right, here we go. So, so break these down for us. So what I did here was to give yourself a little more fun for your guests is we created some ice with some have blueberries, some have strawberries, and these over here have mint in them. Ooh. So this way Freshen you've got, it up a little that's bit, right? it, because you're gonna add either lemons and other uh, fruits and stuff in there, but this way you're gonna get the coldness and you're gonna get the flavoring from the tea balls. You want a little mint? I'd Cheers. love to. Let's try it out. Excellent. Cheers to you guys at home. Cheers to you. Mm. Website for you, social media. Yes, you let's go with um, email, if you'd like to talk to me, is sean at perfectcupoftea.com. Mm -hmm. Or you can go on my Facebook page or YouTube. You'll find me there as well. CT Style, Excellent. search for me at Mr. T. Very good. Mr. T, Sean, thank you so much for joining us thank here on you. Style. Always interesting fun facts about tea. It's a, it, it really is an art form and it sure does it taste is. good. Uh, cold brew, try it out for yourself. Make sure you guys check out Mr. T online. We're gonna